başında Otsko! Alexander Otsko in his corner he's got Larry Curley and Mo and he's going to really need their wisdom in this fight against Kakuda. I you know I, there is one thing Stephen I want to say um, if he comes out to make it a street fight that could be dangerous for him because if you come out with anger and anger, anger can disturb the fighting technique sometimes it's not good to be anger control anger a very famous man used to say that was bruce lee controlled anger but if you just go out blaze oh, oh, yeah. i do it no shaking yes. there oh he gave he dissed him he dissed him right there offered his hand and pulled it back here it is the grudge match atsuka that man right there that he has no respect for Kakuda. Kakuda coming out, going for the lock, and Kakuda trying to trip Atsuka. If it goes to the ground, it's going to favor us tonight, Kakuda. Yeah, it depends also who's going to be on top. Of course, because Alexander got some good knees from the mind, from the side mark. Look at this, our good knees too. Man, the crowd is totally into this. <laughs> A grudge match. I feel like I'm in Thailand. Listen to that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, who's going to get the takedown? Oh! And there it is. Kakuda gets the takedown on top of Atsuka. Atsuka with the close guard. I, I think it's a matter of time here. But one thing is for sure. Kakuda is sort of like the Japanese Jeremy Horn in that he takes his time when he fights. Whereas Asuka will try things and maybe even make mistakes, but I don't. <laughs> Look at this. He's patting him. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like you said. You know, the good thing about the five rules also is the, the, the first 10 minutes round because so you can't take your time. Of course, you have to move because otherwise the referee puts you up back on your feet again. But as long as you keep moving, you can set everything up. So for somebody who's real good at submissions and keeps busy, that is a perfect rule right there. And leg lock is, is going to go for a leg lock, which would be a very smart thing to do because Alexander Otsuka is wearing shoes. Well, Kakuda uh, is well known for his loss to Henzo Gracie way back and that was in 1998 and it was a, a a match that almost went an hour it was a 50 minute match well oh he's got the oh, mouth position you don't want to push you don't want to stretch your arms here but a guy like you can tell this is bad because he could he's going to go for an hour bar for this position he's going to play with him for a while try and smother him there we go but if, Hendrik Gracie did also an arm bar on uh, Alexander Otsuka and Otsuka escaped, remember? So, yeah. I don't know if it's a good, a, a good thing to do to go for a straight arm bar. Can you lose position? Well, but I guess the point is this. They both had uh, a common opponent in Hendrik Gracie. Kakuda lost by submission after 50 minutes. Otsuka lost a decision. Now, Kakuda claims that he is twice the fighter he was when he fought Henzo back in 1998. And... It looks like he is because there's a lot more action. He looks very relaxed on the ground here. Very good in control. Like it's easy for him to stay in this control. Uh, he is the 2002, and that's uh, this year, Abu Dhabi Submission Wrestling Champion. He, um, he feels that the Abu Dhabi champions don't necessarily uh, become champions in mixed martial arts. And there's a variety of reasons. Uh, that he mentioned it to us but what can Otsuka do here boss nothing he's got a buck and he's got to go for god now we have the arm bar this is he, not he's going to give up position you see yeah he gave Otsuka up should roll through no well yeah Otsuka got to escape the mount as soon as um, Kikuda sits up he can escape the mount position pretty easy if you want okay Kikuda going for uh He's going to try for side control, and he's going to probably spin around. Oh, what's... Uh, no. Oh. Atsuka was almost in a position to do, do his own arm bar, it's but... going to be a leg look like, No. Whoa. Kick to the head instead. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Now we're talking Atsuka on top. And if he's going to get pull that leg out, he's going to drop the knees like he did with Martin Hoas. we got six minutes left. 
I don't know if you folks at home can hear the cheering, but they were chanting Alexander. And it was like deafening. Yeah, look. Oh, beautiful reversal by the book and going for the sideline. Knee is perfectly high up. Yeah, he's got the knee on belly position. He's going to go for mount again, it looks like. He's in half guard now. <laughs> that was <laughs> what was that move? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you call it. How do you call it? What would you call it? I would call that the reverse fly swat. <laughs> how can you come up with it? Uh, it's real simple. It's like when we were in St. Petersburg, Russia, commentating. <laughs> and Soliev had the north-south position, then he got the mount from the same position. You figure it out. I got it. Mount again. Now it's going to be dangerous. He's got a high mount. It's more difficult to, to buck that one off. And it, Atsuka cannot turn his back here. It is a high mount. Kikuda locking up the hands. And Atsuka turning. Kikuda got his back now. He's got the hooks in, but he's a little off to the side, boss. Yep. It, it looks like he wants to set him up for an armbar. Let, let, let him kick it to no, a choke and then go for an arm. Yeah, he, but, but Atsuka firing back. Now, what move is this, boss? There's the back slap to the head. This is the, I'm turning right. No, it's a back fist. <laughs> I, there you go. <laughs> I'm turning right. <laughs> what movie? Any which way you can. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Was right it? turn, Clyde. Mount again. Full mount again. But he hasn't been able to do much with the full mount. He hasn't landed. Okay, there was a good left hand, but he's going to go for armbar now, I think. Yeah, he's grounding away, and this is the technique. Yes, he's going to go for an armbar now. Otsuka yeah, spinning again. It was very smart. He was very close to get into an armbar. Uh, Otsuka's got some kind of a, a knot on his head. <laughs> yeah. It looks like some, that too. It looked like some alien st stuck a stethoscope inside of his brain or something programmed it for the fight. Experiment with him. The light that beamed him up. Yes, well, better don't make a mistake now because this is a total setup for a choke. But also we can go for an armbar here. Well, that was actually the armbar that Hanzo did on uh, oh. Atsuka. Atsuka oh, oh, taking a chance. Now Atsuka in a bad position here. Okay, we've got three minutes left. Atsuka is a mess right here. Look at that head. It's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. On top of a skull. Maybe it's a secret weapon. Gonna pop out. Can, oh, Bell! Oh, that looked like he headbutted him. Back hurts. Well, it hasn't been going too good for Alexander Otsuka, has it? No. It has. Kukuta uh, has been in control the whole fight now. Um, he, sh he should um, strike harder on the ground. That will, that, with a, a guy with control like he could not, if he can he's really try, he's, he's got him on side choke, side choke right here. He's got him. No, he's not going to get No, maybe no, he's, he's going to get him. No, he's out. Yeah, but arm bar. Okay, no. Yeah, still. But not the other arm, it looks like. Wow. Well, at the least, Atsuka is taking a beating here. Yeah, there's an arm bar coming up. For sure, he's gonna go for it. It's got, it's got to be. But I, I can't understand if he cannot escape the mount position. Well, he's trying. Yeah, but it's not the way you have to do it. You know, you gotta turn on your side, push the knee. You know, there's a good way to do it. Kokoda going for a key lock from the mount, and he's gonna, he's gonna set up the armbar here. Yeah, there, there, arm there it is. There it is. That's it. He's got it. Yeah, All he needs yeah, to do is break it loose and extend it. He's going to use some energy here, but Oscar trying to kick his way out. Oscar has got, yeah, yeah. got all of his pride involved, and he won't let go. No, but it, oh, he's he, going to get out. He's going to get out he's of it. Out. Beautiful. Oscar. And he's got the control. It's deafening in here. The crowd is going ballistic. Our sold-out crowd.
is going insane because of that escape. And Atsuka on top. Kakuda getting ready for a sweep here. Yeah, Atsuka got to work here now. He's got not a lot of time left. If he really wants to do some damage, he's got to go try to go to the side on the knees, lay the knees down, or do this, but then the position with the jaw. Because otherwise he's going to go to round two. Yeah, it's going to go to round two. It doesn't look like... Or it's going to be... Oh, <laughs> yeah, but to the solar plexus. That's not good. Maybe that's how I got that lump on his head. When he did it backwards. Yeah, how did he get a lump on it? I don't know, but I saw it one time before. The fight against Franco Sikapic. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, but he, he, he got he, he got his shin kicked some guy. But in this fight, that's good, man. I mean, he was he was on top of it. Yikes. He's a mess. I tell you, that bump on his head, you know, he's really got to change his pillows, I think. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> You have special pillows for that. Look Tem at that. Tempur you know, or something, uh, they call it. Maybe some, uh, maybe get something to drain it like they do with Rocky. Cut me! Cut me, Cut man. me! Cut me! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, look at this. <laughs> Kakuda all over him. Oh, you see that was very close to that arm bar, straight arm bar there. Kakuda, Kakuda, and there, we go. there, there goes with the arm bar. When Kakuda uh, mounts him, you should aim for that big zit and just try and see if we can do pop it. <laughs> yeah. And, man, I can't believe that Oscar didn't get off guard right here. He pulls it out perfectly. Wow. And the side mount. Yep, one thing we can say for sure, Oscar, and we knew that before, is an escape artist. Man, oh man, oh man, it's been a wild night, and this fight has been no exception. We got the grudge match. The Atsuka wanted to turn it into a street fight, but Atsuka looking like he's been in a street fight. Yeah, but there's no quitting in his personality. He will fight till the end. Because he's got all that pride now, which you took with him in the ring by saying all these things and by hitting the hand away from Kikuta in the beginning of the fight. So he's got to go now. There's no stopping for him. No option. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing. Kikuda has been in complete control of this fight, except for that little reversal. But Atsuka didn't really land any significant shots once he did re the reversal. Yeah, but that's true. Atsuka looked like he just snuck through a barbed wire fence. Go! And Kikuda getting a top lock up there, double overhook. Oh, that Oops. was a low blow. Yeah, that was a low blow. Now he keeps going. Well, so much for the cleanness. Uh, Kakuda gets the trip takedown into the guard of Atsuka. Uh, uh, well, Atsuka going up high for uh, either a triangle or an arm bar, but he doesn't really have anything. Yeah, and you don't want to do that because then he can pass the guard. And mount or... Hmm. This is an interesting position. Grab defeat. That's what I just wanted to say. He could flip him and mount him. He can try. Yeah, but Kakuda's too experienced for that. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, still, Kakuda. If you don't shoot, you always miss. Kakuda has fought in just about every major martial arts organization there is. He fought in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He fought in Shudo. He fought in Tank Race. And this is his third time in Pride. This guy's bounced around quite a bit. Yeah, so it, uh, yeah. I don't think he's going to get submitted. He's going to go for leg lock. Oh, no. It was beautiful. Oh, there's Pass. the... Uh, he, Atsuka has got to block that knee like he just did. Yeah. I can't believe they let him out with a big thing in his nose. Me neither, but if he takes a few more shots, they're going to fill up. They're out of nose hole, too. And that's not very... That doesn't come in handy with the mouthpiece and your nose filled. <laughs> Like the movie of Fish Called Wanda with the French fries. Yeah. 
I just read your mind. Takuda mounted on top of him. Takuda spent four years at the Japan Physical Education University, and uh, it's interesting because Kakuda started at the age of seven years old in judo and practiced judo. Um, actually, no, he started when he was 13 years old, and he practiced for seven years. And uh, Kakuda was on the uh, Team Japan uh, Championship. It was, it, was a, it was a team member of the... Uh, uh, his team won the Japanese team competition of judo. Wow. Yeah, judo, as you know, is it, it, very high here. The level is very high here in Japan. Uh, could, uh, uh, my instruction would be, listen, you've been the first round in mount, everything in mount, maybe you should try to go to Simon and try something there. Because till now, we have been on a fact that he's trying to go all the time for the side choke, uh, which isn't working. But um, if you really want to go for submissions, Look at this. He almost gave him the armbar there, and now he's giving him his back. Yep. And then we got the back hand again. Yeah. The right turn. Right. right turn. Two minutes. Yeah, he better not make a mistake. Uh, although he doesn't have his hips locked all the way for Otsuka's hips, he's got only one hook in, so Otsuka can turn to the right right now and get out of it, which is something that I would do if I was him. But it's been all Kikuda. Yep, he's been all over him. He is delivering the punishment. And Atsuka has been taking it, but Atsuka just won't quit. Well, we, we know that. Well, if you go the distance with Iko from Chanjin, and uh, you're a mentally strong person. Atsuka has got to do something. I mean, he, he can't just sit there. I mean, he's, gonna, he's not going to stop with those shots. But Kikuda should hit, try to hit the wound there or something. No, that, I think that the referee should say, do something here. If yeah. nobody answers, if he doesn't defend it, then uh, I, I don't think that's good. No. Okay, no, there are no power shots, so there's not a lot of uh, real damage involved, but still, you know, uh, do something. Atsuka just has not been competitive in this match against Kikuda. No. He just doesn't have any answers. You can't just win a fight on heart. You need skill. I mean, we heard the rhetoric about the street fight. And we've got 30 seconds left. And, and Atsuka, for the oh, he's going for it. But he, Atsuka's got the chin down. But still he can smother him because he's oh, he, very tired. Yeah, he's got the he's got position, boss. Yeah, and oh, he's, he's going to... Oh, he's got it, maybe. And you know what? Is it under? The bell might ring here. Left and right. No, Asuka, he's, he's out of he's out of position. He doesn't have it around the net. Yep. That's true. No. Oh, quick Ah, that was round number two. Let's go into the third round. It's gonna get better and better now. Kikuta, he yeah, stands up more energetic than he did in the first round. And worse and worse for Alexander Asuka if he can get up. Look at those cuts. These are, these are the weirdest. Because I've ever seen, it's almost like Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> you are on tonight, Basito. Atsuka doesn't look good no, he in, this, doesn't. in this match. And it's another one-sided round for Kikuda. Just laying it on Atsuka. And Atsuka is doing nothing. Um, fortunately, these shots, there's not, you can't really stop a guy with those shots, but they're, they're more than irritating. And then he's massaging his, what are we going to call that? What is that? A, a, a lump. It's, <laughs> if, it, it's, if it's going to slide down, it's going to the hunch, it's hunchback of Tokyo. <laughs> That's true. We'll call, um, we'll call him Quasi Moto. Quasi Tsutka, Otsuka. No, um, Otsuka is going to be in big problems in round number three uh, because it didn't look good for him in round number two. Um, <laughs> he right there, Kikuda, sees how tired Otsuka is and like in the last fight with Marilla Ninja against Mario Spare, that's going to give him wings. It's going to be more energetic. If I would have been uh, Kikuda and I got Alexander's back, I would stand up and kick him to the head, which is allowed in the pride. And has more success 
than those punches that he's giving from the back. And here we got two more guys that are right in that middleweight category. Um, okay, Alexander Atska was checked by a ringside doctor and he looks good to go for round number three. <laughs> yeah, it, Does he have two? Oh, that left was, hook. Nice left hook. Oh, oh in the groin. That was straight up the middle. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't have a lot of control. He's getting a warning from the referee. Um, that is not legal to knee to the groin in the Pride Fighting Championships. Yeah, I, I, I thought the referee should do something about that. But that continues because... Atska seems to be desperate here yeah, it's like he's aiming for it he's still got a good takedown defense though oh but this is an edible to take down and yeah. there it is and this is not good for Atska. Atska is probably going to get another pounding here but kikuda has just fallen short with the submission so far yeah he will go to the mound again and then do the same thing he should um really try something different if he wants to finish the fight i think at 34 years of age kakuda is four years older than alexander otska but i don't think that's going to be a factor here no i don't think so either at 34 i would have never i i, I thought he was in the 25 if you look at him he doesn't look 34. yeah that's a, that's really a big surprise for me if he was a young gun not to say that he's old, because he's not. Because at 37, you're still that old. Well, these guys are in that uh, infamous middleweight division. Boss, what is your assessment uh, of the middleweight division, and how would El Wapo do in the middleweight division? I don't know, but he, he, would, he would shine uh, at least his, his beautiful shaved head and um, look good. That's one thing for sure. Um, and fighting, he's training every day. He's doing a good job. He feels uh, good and strong. So, uh, let's see where that uh, is going to bring El Wapo. That was a short stick left hand job. Uh, Alexander is waving his arms. Could be a setup, you know, for please take my arm, go for an arm bar so I can get on top. But this is what Kikuta should do. Yeah. Side mount, try it out something different. There we go, see? Now he wants to finish the fight. You need to the body there, which uh, conveniently is located there, the liver. <laughs> Bang! That's another drink right there at home. Yeah, it's right there. That's the liver, boss. Hey, oh. We got the mound. Kikuta, which we have seen. Okay, now maybe now he's going to go off. See, Alexander should bridge now and bump him off, but he is very tired. Exhausted. It was a good hand. Good and another one. Boss, we ate sushi last night, but they had liver on the menu for sushi. How come you didn't try it? <laughs> I don't know, but the, mo the thing that scared me the most was the anger, anger eel filet or something. Wow. The word anger and food doesn't really go good with me. No, armbar coming, armbar, there he is. And this is it, that's it, he's got it. He's got a tap. You, you, you give up? <laughs> yeah, he's got it, he's gonna get it, he's got it. I think he, uh, Alexander should have, he should not take a risk and break his arm. Kikuda is in position. He should start rolling now, Alexander should start rolling, make a fist, twist his arm to the right, and then try to roll out. It will be his only way. I can't see from here where that was. Is this the same referee that refereed Alex Stevens? He's gonna, go. Whoa, he's gonna get out. He's going to get out. He's pushing the hands up. Unbelievable. He should hook his legs. He's oh, look at this. He's going to go for throwing now. Not anymore. I can't believe look at this. he has it. Oh, look at this. If he gets out of this, man, this is, this is not going to speak well about the finishing capability of Kakuda. He could escape right now. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, he's getting out. Oh, my that Lord. Was that was sheer guts. He just didn't want to tap. 
He just wouldn't tap. That, 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 he said, okay, that's it. I don't care. Break my arm, I don't care. Got to get on the hat again. He's trying to get under his dandruff, I guess. That's <laughs> it. his shoulders, baby. Yeah, but I don't see any dandruff. Look at this. What's this? Oh, he's tapping out? They call it the... Uh, the referee's going, wait a minute, is this guy tapping out? What's, what's this guy doing? And this guy's... He's trying to get the food rattled, but it's too late. It's too late. Getting him rattled... It's, uh, if anything, Atsuka saved face in that he didn't get stopped in this yep. fight. But he got smoked in every other way. What? Okay, the only victory is that he went the distance. Now, the question is, will they shake hands after the fight? Yeah. I probably... I, uh... Well, that was total domination by Kikuta. I think so. If Kikuta wants to be a nice guy now, and he wants to gain a little bit more respect for the audience... Well, he's tapping now. Where's the referee? Keep the water! Okay, now here it is. He's going for the arm bar. And it's, it looks pretty textbook. What do you think, Bob? I, uh, Kikuda should have uh, hooked his legs right there, his feet, and um, squeeze his knees together. If, yeah, you watch the arm. Stretch the arm. Extend it the other way. That's an arm. And he didn't do that. Well, now let's see. That's not. Uh, any different from the way we saw it, boss. No, it, it, it's no big surprise. No, it's no surprise. Um, Atsuka just wasn't competitive. Okay, they, they're going to make up. They're okay. going to make up, I think. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. That's no good.